that's a strange name. What do you make of that? Crush metric. There's a ballpoint pen in there, but what a name. Why crush? Why metric? Let me show it to you. Box lid, instructions, and there's a the pen. It looks very smart. It's got a silver body. Very, very nice silver. And a little plastic top and bottom. That's where you clip it in and you operate it from. And this is where the ballpoint comes out. So you can write with it. Let's have a look at it more closely. Still looks like a reasonably normal ballpoint pen. If I've got to hold it like that and write with it, well, I could do so. But I've got to get the bar ballpoint to come out. This is where things get very interesting. Something's going to happen to this which completely bowled me over when I saw it. Watch and see what you think. I'll push the lever and then something extraordinary happens. Isn't that amazing? What's going on then? How does it do that? It suddenly become crinkled. And then when I push it back, it's back to being smooth again. The noise is quite nice too. If I put it down to near my um, mic, you'll hear a lovely little whoosh whoosh noise. Listen. A crushing sound. That's where the word crush comes in. That bit of um, body there is a thin piece of film which has been crushed and then released and crushed and released. It actually feels very comfortable in the hand when you hold it like that and write with it. So I have to say, out of the 150 odd ballpoint pens I've come across in my years of collecting, that's one of the most unexpected and, and, and uh, outstanding. It's the unexpectedness of what really hits me. I can't believe something suddenly goes from that situation to that one with just a little move of the lever. And it still puzzles me what's actually going on there. So, let it puzzle you and at the same time it can be used with a ballpoint pen. Wonderful.